exciting going on in Ponty Panty today? Stick has set fire to the cut price store. And Lily's price is kept inside. Penny, Ally, come on. We'll go in Jupiter. Roger that, Sam. Don't worry, Norman. We'll get her out. Come on, let's go. Oh, I hope my mum is all right. Phyllis, can you hear me? Oh, I'll stop that pogo stick. You get Dillis to safety. Roger that, Sam. Watch out for the fiery end. <laughs> Come on, Dillis. Stay calm and come with me. Mum! That's amazing! Oh, so pleased you're happy that I'm safe, my little treasure. Yeah, yeah, you're safe, great. Um, but look, Fireman Sam, I've got to get a scoop! Oh, come on! Oh, this be it! Hooray! Norman Price has fallen off the zip line of doom and is stuck in a tree. And he's got a fly up his nose. Penny, you take Venus. Helen, you follow behind in the mountain rescue ambulance. I'll go with Tom in Wallaby too. Roger that, that Sam. Sam. Fallen into the river. Get me in as close as you can. Roger that, Sam. Ah! That's close enough, Tom. I'm going in. <laughs> Sam! Penny, Sam and Norman are in the river. Roger that, Tom. I'll try and intercept them downstream. Now stay calm, Norman. You're going to be okay. No sign of them yet, Penny. No. Where are they? Where you? There they are. Sam, catch! Got it, Penny. Pull us in. He's 
he's okay, Sam. Nothing that a hot drink and a good rest won't fix. Thanks, Helen. Now, you two, that was a very silly thing to do. Going off on your own and ignoring safety instructions. Sorry, Fireman Sam. And I'm sorry, too. I just wanted to be a mountain hero. A true hero always puts safety first, Norman. Come on, let's get you home. I wonder if Station Officer Steele ever got his cup of tea. Bronwyn has been making her red hot chili nibbles and has set fire to the whole fish cafe. Come on, everyone, clear the area. Don't worry, Sam. I've got your back. Fireman Sam might need some backup. Well, off you go, little brother. going on now? Come on, you three. It'll be safer over here. Let's get to work. Roger that, Sam. Is everyone OK? I'm OK, yes. Yes, we're OK. You shut off the gas, and I'll put out the oil fires. Roger that, Sam. <laughs> gas off, Sam! Thanks, Ellie. Good work. Well, Bronwyn, the fire is out. You won't be serving fish and chips in there anytime soon, but I did manage to rescue these. I'm sorry, Sam. I know I should have been watching the pans instead of looking in the cupboard, but I got into much of a rush. Rushing is often dangerous, Bronwyn, and you need to remember that safety always comes first. I know, Sam. At least everyone is okay. We are. Oh, thank you, Uncle Sam. Red hot chili nibble? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I didn't get to try one earlier. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Water, Sam? Oh, thank you, Malcolm. Ah, oh, we are a good team. <laughs> that we are, Sam. That we are. James? Sarah, come along. I knew you couldn't light a fire. I'd have done it if I'd had a bit more time. That's it, Penny. Give it all you got. Roger that, Ben. Oh, thanks, Penny. No problem, Mike. And watch out for those waves. Don't worry, I will. Ooh, 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 ooh. A place all to ourselves. We can finally relax. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Look, a fire. Oh, I've got no signal. Me neither. We need to make sure the cadets are safe. But how will we find them? Shh, listen. Mine will be much better. No, it won't. This way. Good work, Ben. Right back at you, Penny. Well, let's hope we have a quieter day from now on. Hello? What's this? Finished! I win! But your pegs aren't even in properly. Station Officer Steele, there's a fire on the island. A fire? Whittington, keep the cadets safe. We'll need to get to the boats. We can't, sir. 
The fire's blocking our way. Then that means we can't get off the island. I'm afraid not, Elvis. And our phones have no signal. Follow me. There's only one way we can go. And let's hope someone in Pontypandy has seen the fire. That doesn't look right. Too much smoke for a campfire. Better call Firefighter Penny! There is a fire on Pontypandy Island. There is a fire on Pontypandy Island! Tom, we're going to need Wallaby too! The fire is all around us, Sam. If only I had my firefighting equipment. Need some help, Sam? Ah, thanks, Penny. Now, let's get to work. To set fire to a fuel truck on Ponty Pandy Key. Please clear the area immediately. Malcolm, I need your help to operate Titan's second water cannon. But I'm not a trained firefighter, Sam. I know, but we need to move fast. The safety of Ponty Pandy is at stake. Let's do it. Ben, take us out to a safe distance. Okay, Malcolm, hold it steady, aim, and fire. Oh, oh. Got it! Penny, we can't reach the fire on the opposite side of the truck, so we'll try and keep the fuel tank cool until you arrive. We're almost there, Sam. We'll need to tackle this fire with foam, Elvis. Roger that, Penny. Now let's get those smaller fires out too. Fires are all out, Sam. And the fuel truck has cooled off. There's no danger of it exploding now. Thanks, Malcolm. If you ever think of leaving the police force, you'd make an excellent firefighter. Thanks, Sam. But I think I'll leave the firefighting to you guys. Did that runaway billboard have anything to do with you two, by any chance? Yes, except for the runaway part. Oh, I'm sorry. I was jealous that my spectacular billboard would get more people going to his show. There is a fire at Pontypandy River, spreading across the grass and towards the trees. There is a fire at Pontypandy River, spreading across the grass and towards the trees. The pioneers are at the river. We need to get there fast.
Let's cut along the forest trail. Roger that, Sam. Stay there and keep back. The fire is spreading in both directions. Arnold, Ellie, put out the grass fire. Elvis Penny and I will put out the tree fire. Let's go. Ready? Ready. It's not going out, Sam. Penny, take Venus and put the fire out from the other side. Roger that, Sam. The tree fire is out. And the grass fire is out. Hooray! Maybe now we can actually get on that river. Hmm. It looks like this caused the fire. Oh, that was me, Uncle Sam. I used Dad's broken charger to charge my tablet. James. This charger had faulty wires and they caused the fire. You should make sure that all electrical wires are safe before using them. I'm really sorry, Uncle Sam. Uh, James, you still need to complete your badge. The raft has to sail all the way to the bridge. Yes! Here we go! Congratulations! It's raft building badges all round! Hooray! A flare has been spotted by a high flying space uh, sandwich. A search and rescue mission is required immediately. Well, I thought I'd heard everything. It must be Tom. And the injured fox. OK, Malcolm, what's going on? Well, thanks to the kids' computer images, we know we need to search east of Ponty Pandy Mountain. And we need to hurry. It'll be dark soon. Roger that. Arnold, you launch Saturn and BRI in the sky. The rest of us will spread out and search the area. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Lizzie, you ride with me. OK, Penny. Now let's go find Tom. I'm at the river. No sign of Tom here. What about you, Penny? We're at the ridge. Nothing yet. Malcolm, any luck? Negative. Nothing here. But I'll keep looking. <laughs> hey, buddy. We've got a nice fire to keep us warm, so you just hang in there. Sam has never let me down yet. Hang on. What's that? Sam, Saturn's found something, and it's close to your position. I'll talk you in. Roger that, Arnold. I know that sound. It's Saturn! Hey, over here! 
Tim! Oh, am I happy to see you, mate? Good to see you too, Tom. How is the patient? Oh, he's fine. But he'll be much better when Lizzie gets here. Ah, and here she is. Hello, little fellow. Well, looks like you could use some help. How did you know where we were? Ah, well, it's all because of a space sandwich. A, a waddy what which? Hannah and Joe have lost power to their submarine and are missing at sea. Hannah and Joe have lost power to their submarine and are missing at sea. We need to launch a full search and rescue mission. We're on our way, sir. Systems activated. There we go, Anna. Shall we wait up top? Hang on, look, the turtle. And it's got a piece of plastic stuck to it. Dad, we've got to help it. Ben, what are your coordinates? I'm just east of Ponty Panty Island. But no sign of them here, Sam. Penny, anything to the north? Negative, Ben. Nothing so far. Are you sure you don't want me to do it, Hannah? No, Dad. You know I'm a much better swimmer than you. And I'm not going to miss meeting this turtle. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. Come here. Oh, you're so beautiful. Now, let's get this off you. There! <laughs> you're welcome, buddy. One turtle rescued! <laughs> now, we just need to rescue ourselves. This might do it! <laughs> There's a flare! A few degrees south of Ponty Panty Island! We're on our way, Tom! Over here! I've found them, Sam. Just follow my bearing. You two okay? <laughs> Fantastic! Thanks, Fireman Sam. I just met the turtle. And she took some plastic off of it. Great job, Hannah. That's what the Ocean Clean Team is all about. Now let's get you both on board, Neptune. Then Titan can tow the Submaster back to Ponty Pandy. <laughs> I wonder what's up with Derek. <laughs> Norman, what have you done? Oh, don't worry. I'll tell him it's not really real. This is exactly what a dinosaur egg would look like. <laughs> what was that? I think it was Derek being flown away by a pterodactyl. <laughs> Oh, my! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Help! I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. Derek Price has been scared by dinosaurs, carried away by a pterodactyl, and is now trapped on the cliffs of Dinosaur Island. I mean, Ponty Pandy Island. Three, two... Attention, firefighters! Oh, what happened to one? Derek Price has been scared by dinosaurs, carried away by a pterodactyl, and is now trapped on the cliffs of Dinosaur Island. I, I mean, Ponty Pandy Island. Come on, team, to Ponty Pandy Island! 
You head for the base of the cliff, man, and we'll head for the top. Watch that, Sam! Stay still, Derek. We're on our way down now. We'll soon get you to safety. Ready, Derek? Next stop, Titan. Oh, one more step, Derek. Careful. You're safe now. Well done, team! I'll meet you back at the beach. Roger that, Sam. I really wish I could have had a go at the target practice. Look, I know you don't believe me, but I was chased by a dinosaur. That's rubbish, Derek, and you know it. If he does it, Tom, if he drops that chicken, we'll never see it again. Just a little bit closer. Nearly there. Gotcha. Oh. Come, come here, you poultry pirate! Nippa! Come back, boy! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. Not quite the wild man outing I had in mind. Better call Fireman Sam. Barbecue has rolled down the hill and started a fire at the Pontypandy train station. A barbecue has rolled down the hill and started a fire at the Pontypandy train station. Come on, to Venus! That's it, Radar. Now the jumps. And through the tunnel. Hooray! Well done, Radar! Woohoo! Fireman Sam, there's a fire at the train station. Penny and Arnold are going to need backup. Roger that, sir. We're on our way. Sorry, kids, but we're going to have to go. Come on, Radar. <laughs> Fire is spreading to Bessie's fuel supplies. You need to keep those tanks cool. Roger that, Sam. Arnold, you put out the grass fire. Penny, help me tackle the main blaze. Roger that, Sam. Sam, the fire's still spreading. Tanks are safe. Good work, Elvis. Now help Arnold put out the rest of the grass fire. Roger that, son. Well done, team. There we are. Spicy flame-grilled sausages for everyone. And cooked on a proper fire pit too, eh? Oh, they smell so good. There, I got your chicken back. The fire is everywhere. What are we going to do? Look! Animals can usually sense a way out of danger. We should follow them. Up you get, Mike Flood. Here, Dad. Use this as a crutch. No, oh, thanks, love. Oh, oh. Come on, everyone. Let's follow the animals. Uh, uh, I'm not sure this is working, Sam. Tom. Is Wallaby 2 ready yet? 
Uh, yeah, we're almost fixed, Sam. Uh, I'll be in the air in a couple of minutes. Which way, little brother? I I'm not sure. But how will we get out? It'll be okay. Put these wet handkerchiefs over your nose and mouth. It'll help keep out the smoke. And we're going to stay low to the ground where the air is most breathable. Uh, if only we could let Fireman Sam know where we are. Wait. If that group of trees is here and the path is there, that means these rocks are just along the trail. They might be high enough for you to get a signal. OK. Everyone stay here. I'll be right back. Malcolm, are you all safe? We're trapped in a clearing and Mike is injured. I'm sending you our exact location. I know where that is, but it'll take time to get there. Just in time, Tom. I'm sending you the location of the trapped hikers. Keep the fire away from them. Got you, Sam. I'm on my way. Penny? Change of plan. I need Venus back at the picnic site ASAP. Roger that, Sam. On our way. <laughs> Hello down there. Don't worry. Sam is on his way. Everything's going to be fine, kids. Arnold, I need you to help Elvis and Ellie fight the fire from here. Penny, we're going to create a wet corridor through the forest and get everyone to safety. Roger that, Sam. <coughs> oh, <coughs> the smoke's getting thicker. <coughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get Mike in Venus, then we'll all follow her out, keeping low. James? Penny, can you bring Phoenix to the outdoor pool? We've got some heavy lifting to do. Roger that, Sam. <laughs> Sam, if you can keep the horse calm, I'll get James. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you. There, there. Keep calm, Buttercup. Help is on its way for you, too. <sighs> there you go, Deputy James. <laughs> Buttercup! It's OK, girl. You'll be back on dry land soon. OK, team. Now, you just need to get this on you, Buttercup. Take her away, Elvis! Roger that, Penny! Stand back, everyone. Let Lizzie make sure that Buttercup is all right. Okay, girl. Let's check you over and make sure you're nice and warm. Oh! Oh! What on earth is all this palaver? And where's my lunch? I'm starving. And what about my vegetables? Are you going to catch the criminal? It's all right. I've already cracked the case. I found a slice of radish. 
under Mike's bench. And a watermelon with a horseshoe print in it at Dillis's store. Then I spotted the culprit eating some petunias. The culprit was... Buttercup! Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> well done, Deputy James. With police work like that, you'll make a fine officer one day. Right, Trevor. This is the last shot. Now let's get going, people. We're losing the light. Okay, Moose. This is the big one. I don't just want a bit of wind. I want you to really whip up a storm. Gotcha. Big wind coming up. Ooh, it's getting a bit choppy. Vegas. Oh, what the Christmas! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Turn the phone off, Moose! Slow down! Oh, no! The waterfall! Trevor! Jump into Moose's boat now! What? Out of danger yet. We gotta get away from that waterfall. I'm on full power. Medical fire the sun. Just leave it, Cridlington. Two members of the Ponty Pandy Ukulele Band are heading towards a waterfall in a rowing boat powered by a wind machine. Two members of the Ponty Pandy Ukulele Band are heading towards a waterfall in a rowing boat powered by a wind machine. Elvis, you come with me in Hydras. Penny, you take Mercury. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. Paddle <laughs> harder, Tramp! Are you paddling as hard as I can? Sam, I'll tie off the safety line for Hydras. Roger that, Penny. I'll hold her steady. Elvis, you get Trevor on board. Roger that, Sam. You need to jump across, Moose. Alrighty. Moose! Grab this, Moose. Got it! Don't worry, Moose. You're safe now. It was a good job you were wearing a life jacket. <sighs> Ew. I'm sorry, Uncle Sam. <sighs> I think I got a bit too carried away making my video. Wait, she can't dance with me if she can't see me. <laughs> I can't see. Ouch! Oh, sorry. Norman, dance! This is my moment! <laughs> oh, no! I can't see! I've got cake head! Not old and sticky! They may taste good, but they're sticky! Well, that's not something you see every day. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Joe, where are you? I can't see a thing. Oh, ouch! Oh, sounds like the disco started. So, which ones do you think? Yeah. Purple it is, then. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, turn the smoke machine off, Joe. <laughs> oh, I have turned it off. There's a fire at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, no. Better call the fire and rescue team. There is a fire at the Hogfish Cafe, and Bronwyn is trapped upstairs wearing her disco trousers. There's a fire at the Hogfish Cafe, and Bronwyn is trapped upstairs wearing her disco 
2,000. Sam, you go with Ellie and Jupiter. I'll take Elvis and Venus too. where James has gone. I've got a full signal now. But no sign of James. James! I think we'd better call the mountain rescue team. James Jones is lost in the mountains. Search and rescue mission required. James Jones is lost in the mountains. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. I'll go with Penny and Tom in Wallaby 2. Sam, you back us up in the ambulance. Roger that, Helen. We find him soon. The sun is starting to go down. Help! Help! I'm over here! It's getting dark, Tom. We need to find James fast. Roger that, Sam. Switching to thermal imaging now. Looks like we've found him. Get ready to go in, Helen. Roger that, Tom. Don't worry, James. Everything is going to be all right. Are you hurt? Um, no. I don't think so. Hang on tightly, James. We're going to get you out of here. I've got him, Penny. Take us up. Roger that, Helen. Hold us steady, Tom. Oh, hello, Uncle Sam. Here comes my mum to complete your nasty game, Mandy. Come and get your car washed by us, Dillis. You get free lemonade. And you can stroke Wooly. <laughs> sorry, but I think I'll go to that car wash. What? I'm sorry, my little treasure, but you've got that horrible custard juice stuck to the dashboard. And it looks like they clean cars inside and out. Trust you to stick a custard chew to the dashboard, Norman. 
Uh, oh, what? Oh, get off! Unfund me, you woolly rascal! Oh, no, Dillis. You've got another custard shoe stuck to the back of your top. Shoe, shoe, woolly. Shoe, bad sheep. Hurry up, Sarah. We've got another customer. I'll be as quick as I can. Oh, I'm being eaten by a sheep. Oh, Sarah, watch out. You're rolling. Oh. <gasps> I can't reach the paddles. Oh, no. Sarah's rolling away. And she's heading straight for the beach. Better call Ocean Rescue. Sarah Jones is trapped in Nurse Flood's car and is heading straight for the beach. Sarah Jones is trapped in Nurse Flood's car and it's heading straight for the beach. Set. Sarah, do you read me? I can hear you, Uncle Sam. Uh, loud and clear. Help is on the way, but the tide is coming in and you need to make yourself safe until we get there. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Um, uh, roger that, Uncle Sam. Okay, Sarah. Once you have taken off your seatbelt, roll down the window and get out of the car. Remember, seatbelt, window, out. I've got it, Uncle Sam. That's it, Sarah. Don't worry, Sarah. I've got you. You go, Elvis! <laughs> Actually, this really is awesome, Dad. <laughs> Just awesome. Worth the wait. <laughs> oh, yes. They're perfect. Oh, no. I really should have done that safety check. Quick, get the kids to safety and take cover. Hannah! This way, Hannah! An out-of-control sky burner has set fire to the Flood's house and surrounding area. An out-of-control sky burner has set fire to the Flood's house and surrounding area. to the Flood's house, we'll deal with any other blazes, but we'll need Saturn to pinpoint the locations. Roger that, Sam. Launching Saturn now. There's a group of fires in the northeast woods, Sam. Roger that, Elvis. On our way. Mike are trapped inside. We're on it. Come on, guys. Stay low and let's get you out. Let's get this fire under control. You two blast the main blaze before it spreads. I'll tackle the smaller fires. Dad! Hey! Oh, Dad. I was so worried. We're all clear at the flat. 
Dad's house, Sam. Ours is done too. Oh, oh, very nice. Please with that. Hurry, Dad. There's a roll rubbish. We're bound to win. But we can't win if it's not cooked. Uh, right. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Thirty seconds. <laughs> oh, we have to get them out now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, they look brilliant. Don't start without us. Nothing can stop us now. The pizzas are cooked. Now it's over to Bella for the tasting. Shall we start with uh, uh, this one? Um... Fire! Fire! But I didn't put any chili on it. No, Bella means a real fire. Fuck! Better call the fire station. There is a fire in Ponty Panty Park, and all the pizzas are in danger of burning. There's a fire in Ponty Panty Park, and all the pizzas are in danger of burning. <gasps> Not the pizzas. pizzas. We need you all to move back for your own safety. Thank you. OK, team. Looks like we've got a burning wood oven, a gas canister and an electric microwave. I'll disconnect the microwave. And I'll keep that gas canister cool. Switching to sticky foam. Roger that, Ellie. The fire's spreading. I'm on it, Sam. Oh, hmm. It looks like the source of the blaze was this wood-fired oven. Um... Sorry, Sam. That was our oven. I may have been in a bit too much of a hurry. <laughs> oh. It says here that when a dog doesn't listen, you just need to be firm. I tried that. I'm telling you, Nipper doesn't pay attention to anything. <sighs> How's this for firm? High five! You might as well give up, Sarah. Nipper's never going to do a high five. <gasps> Nipper, come here! Sarah, stop! We need to get out! Mum! Dad! Better call the fire station! There is a fire at the Holfish Cafe, and Sarah is inside looking for Nipper. There's a fire at the Holfish Cafe, and Sarah's inside looking for Nipper. We need you all to move back for your own safety. Thank you. I'll find Sarah the Nipper. I'll tackle the fire. I can't see Sarah the Nipper. I'm going to check the basement. 
Roger that, Sam. Sarah! Sarah! I'm here, Uncle Sam! Oh, Sarah, we need to leave. And I can't find Nipper! Don't worry, Sarah, we'll find him. But right now, I have to get you out of here. The fire's out, Sam! I couldn't find Nipper anywhere. <laughs> what is yeah. it, girl? Go, show me. Why is Shadow sniffing Nipper's toy? She's trying to find him for you. She's concerned about the smoke. Lead, Radar! <laughs> That's it! Follow! What a team! <laughs> the team in action. Penny, you're clear. I can't find Trevor. The smoke's too thick to see. Sam, you help Elvis while Penny puts out the rest of the blaze. I'm on it, Penny. Trevor! 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 Can you hear us? Sam, check upstairs in Norman's room. I saw some movement. Roger that, Penny. How am I doing for air? You're fine, Sam. Your air is at 68%. So just take it calmly and slowly. I found him, Ellie. Trevor, stay low and move towards me. OK, Sam. Now, let's get you out of here. All clear, everyone. It looks like the cause of this fire was an overloaded plug, Dillis. You should never put too many plugs in the same socket. I'm sorry, Firefighter Penny. <laughs> this isn't quite the helicopter ride I was hoping for. Don't worry, you two. I'll be taking it slow and easy. Roger that, Sergeant. We'll let you know if things get a bit bumpy. Don't you worry. All I need to do is climb up the tallest tree, and then I can see exactly where we are. I'm so sorry, Norman, but I'm going to need the... Here. Here I go. We're clear, Sergeant Ravani. Roger that, Sam. I'll be your eyes in the sky while you cover the ground. Don't you worry, an old pioneer never loses his... Oh, oh, you... oh 
idea. We're getting close. Brandon, hold on! That's Sarah's voice. Where's Gareth? Gareth, are you all right? I'm in a little bit of bother, Sam. Whoa. Uh, stay calm. I'm coming to get you. We found Gareth and the kids. But we're going to need helicopter backup. Copy that. Take me up. To lift down, Gareth. They certainly do, Sam. Yay! Ah! That squashed my lunch. <laughs> I never should have taken that old shortcut, Sam. Maybe not, Gareth. And you should always let someone know where you're going when you set off on a hike. If not for radar and shadow, we might not have found you. I'm sorry, Sam. And I'm sorry, Pioneers. It looks like you'll miss the party. And it's all my fault. Hey, Gareth! I think your old Pioneer shortcut might work after all. Really? The Mountain Activity Centre is just through these trees. Hooray! Oh, yay! <laughs> well done, Gareth. Do you think you might be taking the Pioneers on more hikes in the future? I think I might, Sam. As long as I've got Norman to carry my binoculars. Wow! <laughs> <laughs>